Hi guys, welcome back to another video. Um, in today's video, I thought I'd do an update video on the 2022 pressure washer setup. No, it's a bit late, but this video is sort of more of a detailing setup on the products I've got. Obviously, compared to last time, <laughs> I've got a few more, I must say. Um, so, yeah, this is going to be sort of a 24, uh, 2024 detailing setup video. So, yeah, I'm just going to start from the left and just walk you around to all the stuff I've got. So I have still got my Nilfisk Core 125 pressure washer. Um, it is still going strong two years later. Or three, how long was it now? Maybe three years. I think I bought it in 2021. So two or three years anyway I've had it. Um, absolutely brilliant. No problems with it at all. I have upgraded a few bits uh, recently. So I have got um, a new direct hoses, um, rubber hose this time. Got a 10 metre so not as long. Um, I did upgrade to the MTM SGS 35 Hydro gun as well, um, which was about £80. So between the hose and the, the gun, we're talking about 120 130 quid, which is a bit more than the actual pressure washer itself. However, the pressure washer is fine. I just wanted a few more quality accessories to go with it. Um, we've still got the Titan Wet and Dry Vac as well. Um, still going strong. Could do with a new filter on it though, I must say, even, even though I've cleaned out a few times. There's only so many times you can clean it out. So I've got a set of drawers now here with a few bits in. So I've got some gloves, um, some taps, some air fresheners, um, and a few car bits to be honest, because obviously I'm now doing all my cars. I've got some cool taps and some old wheel bolts and all that sort of stuff in there. Um, this drawer, I've got a polishing ball for my exhaust tips because they're massive and I can't be asked to hand polish them. So you can just whack that on the end of the drill there look and then yeah straight in the exhaust here as you go so if we just pull that drawer out a little bit more we've got the synergy light ceramic coating in there some microfibers an old drying towel um some drill brushes applicators and then a synthetic clay block um, which is for your decontamination stage just prefer that over an actual physical clay bar itself as I can just wash it out and haven't really been in anything. This drawer, we've got some, uh, some of those melamine sponges, um, or magic erasers as you probably know them as. Um, a few more applicators and a few things like that. Some of the um, interior scrub pads, just some more microfibers there. If I just move that out of the way, just got one there drying. Just got a few more extra microfibers there and a bit of sandpaper for some wet sanding. So we've got my free bucket here as well. So this is my wheel bucket, got a few more wheel cleaners in, some EZ detail brushes, EZ barrel brushes and things like that. And then I've got my rinse and my wash bucket there. So on top we've got my pump sprayer, um, just with my citrus pre-washing. So that's all I have on the top there. Got my big boy blow, which is seen a few better days with the peeling there, but still works fine, along with the hose. Got my old Auto Glim snow foam lamps as I decided to start pulsating. Um, I did take it all apart, clean it, etc., but still didn't make any difference. So I went and bought a new one, I'll be honest with you. Got some de icer for the winter, even though I don't really use it. Um, these Auto Bright direct blast cans for the interior to make it smell dead nice. These, oh, honestly, they smell so nice. We've got Creed. And we've got Morello cherry. Oh, smells so good. So, open bottle there. I'll probably do a bit in that. That's of the Auto Bright Direct wheel and tire cleaner. Best thing out there. So, we've got some Unique Auto Care iron eliminator. Same with their plastic and rubber dressing at the back there. The pump sprayer. Oh, sorry, in a um, five litre, sorry. Here we've got the Marvel, my favourite detailer at the moment. Garage Therapy, quick detailer, but. I'm running uh, a little low at the moment. And then we've got the Autobite Direct Purple Velvet in a five litre at the back there. People may ask why I'm buying five litres, but just cost effective. Um, the most sort of busiest shelf, I must say. Um, we've got a few bits going on here. So we've got some old Meguiar's Endurance Tire Gel, Ultimate Compound and Ultimate Polish. Just a few bits I have laying around. Now I bought this the other day. It's called Chemical Guys Tire Kicker Tire Shine. Now, if you want glossy tires, they don't last for ages. 
So the, the actual shine will only last for a couple of days and then it goes to sort of a nice satin, which I quite like. Um, obviously there's a few products I haven't tried here yet. So if I just move them triggers out of the way there at the moment. So we've got here, Meguiar's wash, ceramic wash and wax. So in there is your shampoo and in here is your ceramic. Now I haven't actually tried this yet because I got it from Jackfest and it was free um, with the entry ticket, but I still haven't tried it yet. I probably should do because otherwise it will just sit on the shelf for ages like uh, all the other products. Um, the back here, we've got Yum Cars Dress V2. That is pretty much empty now. Really good tie dressing, nice satin dressing. Project 64, which we've got another bottle of there. Um, it's like a gloss enhancing spray. Quick detail, really nice. Um, Lotus, which is a water repelling, repelling glass cleaner from Easy Car Care, or Easy Car Care, haven't used that yet. Um, got the hybrid ceramic clay kit from Meguiar's, which I haven't used yet. That also um, came from Jap Fest as well, um, which I was quite happy with, I'll be honest, because this stuff ain't cheap. So we've got Autobytes Direct Airy Balls uh, Mint Chocolate Shampoo, which literally smells like mint aero chocolate. It is just amazing it smells so good then if i move some of these out of the way we've got cherry glaze from what about direct I haven't used that yet probably won't be honest with you so anyone wants that let me know in the comments we've got the bubblegum quick detailer from also bright direct yet to try that pretty big fan on quick detailers as i've just told you i'm running out on the garage therapy so it'll be nice to try something different for a change project 64 just talked about liquid gold stuff that is. We've got another funky shampoo from Auto Bright. Hazelnut Latte Shampoo. Smells ridiculously nice. Leather cleaner from Auto Bright Direct. Pretty good for the steering wheel. Seems mine's leather. So that'd be good to use. Um, Auto Bright Direct Refresh, which is like a ceramic sealant. Yet to use that yet, however, heard good things in terms of durability as well. Don't worry about that, that's just some spare stuff from our Killer Wipers Delete, so we won't talk about that. Um, what have we got here? I don't even know I had this. Dual Auto Care Glass Cleaner. Haven't tried that. Probably should, I'll be honest with you. We've got a Jaffa Clean from Auto Bright Direct, which is like an engine bay sort of degrease and protectant. Um, I absolutely love this stuff. Um, I use it all the time to clean my engine bay. Um, and I've had this probably two years because I literally, you, you barely use any of it and I clean my engine bay, not that often. I've got Autobright Health Shine, which is like a sealant at the back and two of Easy EZ Car Cares ceramic wax. Haven't used them yet because they're just, well, not the biggest fan, I'll be honest. I don't really use waxes. Snow Foam Lance, Infinity Wax, Time Glue Remover, Finito Quick Detailer from EZ Car Care, quite a few bits, Glue and Time Remover. Ceramic 3-in-1 detailer from Turtle Wax. I bought this at the motorist because I forgot to bring my detailing stuff when I went for a show. So, sort of had to compromise and buy something whilst I was there. Just wheels from Auto Bright Direct. Really nice wheel shampoo. Um, good for maintaining decent, decently clean alloys. Um, then we've got Halfords High Performance Snow Foam. Honestly, one of the best snow foams on the market. If you haven't tried it, go and try it. 12 quid for two and a half litres and that is the best 12 pound you'll ever spend um and some of the stuff at the back is i've got quite a few of the old, um help with snow foam and a few of these are just some of the old products so i will just put all these back out of the way because i've now made a bit of a mess everywhere typical josh so next level we've got quite a few five litres so we've got auto bright wheel shamp uh, wheel cleaner which is their wheel and tire cleaner then we've got Easy Car Care Citrus Pre-Wash, Easy Car Care, All Purpose Cleaner, Snow Foam and Glass Cleaner. Down here we've got some Fusion Ultra, Ultra Hydrophobic Spray Sealant, Aura Fallout Remover, some Easy Car Care Wheel Cleaners and some IK Sprayers with some Acid Wheel Cleaner just in case we need it on those jobs. But yeah, um, that is today's video just on my detailing setup. So. If you sort of like today's video, um, drop a comment down below and let me know also what you'd like me to do next. Um, as I mentioned in my previous video, you will see a caliper painting video. So, yeah.
hit the bell, notification bell, so you know when I can upload. And if you don't mind subscribing, that will be fantastic. And hope you guys have a nice rest of your week. Bye-bye.